Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Wow, King of Cups twice upright in their energy. This person loves you and they're wanting to come towards you, but they're, I'm not sure you're communicating with them and they may not be expressing their love to you either. King of Cups is not the most expressive, but there's depth here to this person's emotions. It's not just about the physical. It's not a superficial attraction. But something happened here where there may be no communication and this person is watching you from afar. Your energy, we have seven of pentacles, ace of, eight of swords in reverse. You're tired because you feel the situation was unfair. You weren't getting what you were putting in to the situation. It was one-sided, but you feel, yeah, you feel this is not worth your time. You may be avoiding this person, the situation, but some of you, it's, hmm, why is seven of pentacles in reverse? Now we have seven of pentacles upright. Yeah, so this may be something you were on the fence about for a while. You know, should I invest? Should I not? There was indecision here. And a lot of you, it was because this person had some deceptive ways. You didn't trust them. Why is Eight of Swords in reverse? You're not thinking about this as much as you were. You don't want to be stuck is your stance. Why is Eight of Swords in reverse here for Pisces? Yeah, you, you don't want to think about this. You're on a break. You want peace of mind. This person may have been very in and out, or they had some player-like ways, or just their energy was inconsistent and had you in a lot of anxiety at one point. Why is Eight of Swords in reverse here for Pisces energy? Yeah. You being in the situation had you feeling stuck. You have little to no faith that this can work and you're removing yourself and healing. You're ignoring the situation. That is what I'm getting. But this person watches you. They have love and passion for you. How they're viewing you, Six of Wands in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. They're viewing you as someone who's not giving them attention, energy. And you're, some of you, you're annoyed, you're angry with the Queen of Swords in reverse, but you have your boundaries up. Queen of Swords upright is someone who's receptive to hear the other person out. In this deck, um, the sword is pointing down, so I think you're closed off. You don't want communication, which is why Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is Six of Wands in reverse here for how this person's viewing? Yeah, Three of Swords, distance, separation, heartbreak. Some of you, it was a third party situation. But this person loves you regardless of who has the other person. They want you. Why is Queen of Swords in reverse here for how this person's viewing Pisces? A <laughs> three, three. Yeah, you're not coming together. Um, there may have been a friendship, but you're not, you don't have hope. Um, there's no stability here. You're withdrawing your energy and you're focused on yourself with the Four of Swords. You're focused on your healing. How this person is feeling, the Lover's King of Cups. They feel a lot of love, attraction for you. This is, that's all that, there's unconditional love here. Why is the Lover's here? But the Lover's can also be a decision between two. Why is the Lover's here for how this person? Nine of Swords. If they have a decision to make, they're very anxious. There's a lot of inner conflict, five of wands. They're very stressed out in regards to what is happening uh, between the both of you, Pisces. Why is King of Cups here? They're wanting a new beginning with you if there's separation. They're wanting a second chance judgment. They've been feeling very restless about this situation. They think about you a lot. <laughs> Nine of Swords is extreme anxiety.
But I think you're starting... This is your energy, the Fool, Eight of Cups, and Two of Cups in reverse, because I have that in your feelings. You turned your back to the situation. Some of you have, you're looking for new love or you found new love. And this person's, which is why they were stalking you. If this person was the one that was, that emotionally withdrew, they're watching you from afar and it's almost loving you from afar. They're unhappy with whatever situation they're in, if they're in another situation, Pisces. For what action they're taking towards you, the moon, seven of wands. They're giving up. Some of them are embarrassed. They feel you know everything that you need to know about the situation. And there's no point of fighting for this because they'd be rejected. Why is moon in reverse here? For what action this person is taking? Yeah, and they feel if they were to come back around, there would be a lot of arguments, conflict. You may be angry for some of you. You have something to say to this person. Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. Why is Seven of Wands in reverse here? This seems to be someone you have history with. I'm not getting a new energy. Yeah, they're choosing to drop this Ace of Wands in reverse. And a lot of them, it's not out of choice because you've removed yourself with the Four of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse. This person may be a little bit intimidated to come back around to you as well, right? Because they feel you know everything you need to know about them. How you're feeling, Three of Wands, Two of Cups in reverse. You're falling out of love. You don't feel the connection as strongly as it once was. You're not planning with this person. Your star and Three of Wands is talking about someone who's not hopeful, right? You don't see a way to make this work. Why is Three of Wands in reverse here for how Pisces feeling? Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords in reverse. Very detached. Some of you are wanting nothing to do with this person, or you may just be upset or angry. Why is Two of Cups in reverse here? For how Pisces feeling. Yeah, you're not expressing anything. Um, very withdrawn, and you're not revealing much to this person. Some of you have blocked communication eight of swords echoing what i was saying up here um where the situation had you feeling anxious and stuck very insecure not knowing where you stood and you're feeling better after releasing this that is what i'm getting at least for the latter half of august you're releasing yourself you're healing with the five of cups in reverse and king of swords in reverse there's and no communication or someone's very detached, aloof here. I don't think I need to clarify the obstacle. I'm getting this as your energy because we have Queen of Swords in reverse twice in your energy. This person is coming through as the King of Cups. You're seeing things for what they are. You're seeing clearly. You're cutting through the BS. Your outcome, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles upright. You're dropping the situation. I'm not sure what the Six of Pentacles is about, but we'll clarify. Why is Two of Pentacles in reverse? Why is Two of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is, now we have Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not giving to the situation. Six of Pentacles. In regards to this person, you're not giving anything. You're not giving or receiving. It was one-sided. You're dropping the situation. You're rejecting this. It's cold shoulder, silent treatment. That is your stance. Six of Pentacles may be... Ooh. Okay, some of you. Ooh, okay. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Wow, look at this energy. Six of Wands. Knight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Devil. Queen of Pentacles. This combination here is someone who's a bit of a workaholic. 
or you've been working on some sort of assignment project that's bringing you a lot of success, recognition, praise from people, co-workers, boss. Some of you are in a position of authority or you're working your way up, but I'm getting financial success for you, Pisces. 10th house matters in regards to your reputation, your career. You're receiving money. You're quite generous with your time and energy or you were in the past, that's it's good karma is what I'm getting. And some of you, if you look at the imagery here, we have Six of Wands, Knight of Cups. Um, there's an offer of love, someone wanting to... Someone who recognizes your worth may be wanting to express love to you, but I don't think you see it coming. You're focused on some sort of perfecting some skill here. You're focused on you and there's someone here behind you that has an offer of love for you. It can be a new opportunity. I don't think I need to clarify that. Your outcome is amazing. You're feeling happy. You're feeling recognized. Um, you're consumed with some sort of assignment. Um, some of you can be students, but it can be any work project. Their outcome, we have Hierophant in reverse, Page of Pentacles upright. Their outcome is they're resistant to change Hierophant in reverse, but they're also non-committal here. They're not stable. Why is Hierophant in reverse here for this person's outcome? Yeah, there, there's no commitment here because you're rejecting this person's offer. Three of Wands, you don't see the potential here. And there is a lot of immaturity here, you both on different levels, right? We have the queen with the page. Why is page of pentacles here? Why is page of pentacles here for this person's outcome? They may be mirroring you, Pisces. Them. They're diverting their attention to themselves, their finances. Some of them may be struggling financially. You may have helped this person out financially. Or they just take, took your time, energy for granted. I'm getting that. They're coming through as quite selfish and can be someone who's a bit materialistic. But there's codependency here. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This person has some work to do, Pisces. And I think you're doing well here. Let's see what this love fortune teller. It's a bit of a one-sided or unrequited love because they're coming through as someone who has a lot of love for you. Their emotions are stable, but you don't seem to be interested or you're distracted by other things. And some of you, they have other people in their energy or they did, you don't trust them. <laughs> you always get this or we have good news coming some of you are attracting new love yeah someone's asking you out on a date we have practiced self-love i was getting that with the knight of cups as well obsessed with you A lack of confidence. Don't let love blind you. Better boundaries. Well, you have... Look at that. What was I saying? It's one-sided, unrequited love. Suffering in silence. Yeah. Someone has love for you, but it's one-sided. You're not... You're not giving to this. You're focused on yourself. Some of you, um, I wasn't seeing it with this energy specifically, but it's a general reading. There may be someone new coming in. Let's clarify with a different deck. Clarify, but this person is definitely, as I was about to say, obsessed with you. Addiction fell through. And this says codependent obsession as well. So that's obsession here twice. I didn't get the devil, but king of cups and the lovers, this... They are fixated on you. 
lack of confidence is this and don't let love blind, blind you can be this person's energy or it was you in the past i don't see lack of confidence here um not in your energy maybe in the past with the eight of swords we have addiction the runner so this can be a runner chaser dynamic this person was running from you before and now you're letting go and they're chasing you but we have the look at that the chaser the snake and sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out they had page of swords in reverse in their energy Yeah, this is you. This is what you're moving towards. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And we have girl with the snake. There's two people here. Someone new. We have girl with the snake, empath and narcissist. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. We had boundaries. Yeah, better boundaries. Twice here. I think at one point you were this queen of cups. Um unconditional love you were giving giving and it was one-sided and now the tables have turned and this person is obsessed with you they're possessive over you clarify the six of pentacles for pisces outcome mm -hmm. yeah this is talking about your Security. We have stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah. Look at that. Happiness, expansion, joy, growth, endurance, flexibility, paradise, and palm tree. Some of you literally may be planning a vacation or making me want to rush in. Don't be surprised if I get a little too overprotective. I want you to myself. Yeah. This person sees you moving on and they're watching you and I don't want you to get away with someone else. I'm willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you say something to me yeah you're not communicating and this person's wondering they're obsessing nine of swords so I may be right about you may be giving this person a silent treatment or you're just done Ooh, okay you have to make a choice choose who you want to make you happy I need an answer from you I want to work things out with you. I know we are two very different people, but with effort, we can complement each other. They may be wanting to work out things uh, with you, but I think there was fights or arguments. This you have to make a choice can be you. I mean, you're getting attention from other people or just work success. I'm not sure your situation, um, but I was seeing new love for some of you. So you may have a choice to make between the past and a new person. But this can be this person's past energy because I was seeing Snake, right? Where they were dating around. Yeah, I want to work things out with you. I'm going to show you that I'm the one you should be with. Vulnerability concerns. Finding balance. Yeah, that is what you're doing. You're doing what's right for you. You're restoring balance, justice. Because this person wasn't giving you what you deserve. So justice for yourself by enabling better boundaries and standing up for yourself. What you believe in. With vulnerability concerns, king of swords in reverse. You don't trust this person. And some of you, this person has a hard time being vulnerable with you as well, right? But it's also saying finding a balance be between what you give is what I'm getting here. As you need to find a balance um, between being the queen of swords and queen of cups. There needs to be a middle ground here. Moving forward, that is what I'm getting. Self-worth. I cast off all concerns about what people think of me. I know I'm a total kick-ass person. 
and my kick-assness can never be diminished by rejection. This is interesting. Some of you felt rejected by this person and it's karma. You're rejecting them now. So people can think what they think and feel what they feel. In the meantime, I'll just keep on knowing that I know without thinking about what they are thinking about what I already know, I think. Yeah, so this could have been lack of confidence, self-worth. That is the lesson here. I was seeing karmic love here at the bottom of Island Time Wellness. Um, when I was shuffling, so it can be a bit of a karmic cycle that you were stuck in. That's what I'm getting. This person is in love with you. They're obsessed with you. Um, they may be coming back around to ask you on a date. I think you will turn them down. Um, you're doing very well financially over with, with some sort of goal um, that you've been working on and that is what is making you very happy. Um, you're quite fulfilled within yourself. You're healing. You're feeling your emotions are more stable here. You're restoring balance in your life and I'm getting you getting your justice. This is good karma in the form of financial success for a lot of you. But I also see a new love coming in for you. I'm not sure some of the information will be in the description box below. Otherwise, take care of yourself. Bye.